Hi everyone! In this video, we graph linear equations. Determine the equation of the linear function that is represented in the graph. A linear function is typically written with the slope-intercept form, which is f of x equals mx plus b. The m represents the slope, or the rate of change, and b represents the y-intercept, or where the graph crosses the y-axis. So we're going to look for those two items, the y-intercept and the slope, or m. And slope is written as rise over run. Let's look for the y-intercept first. This is crossing the graph right here at the point 0, negative 2, making b negative 2. So the y-intercept is negative 2. Now we pick two points on the graph that go through the corners of our grid and because it makes it much easier to count knowing it's exactly at those corners versus somewhere in the middle like right here. That's hard to count. So we're going to find two points. I'm going to start here and move to here. Although we could also move to here as it's going through to the corners of the grid or here and we could even go down in this direction picking this point or this point. You can pick any of those two points and the rate of change or the slope will be the exact same no matter which ones you do. So I'm going to pick here and then I'm going to move up to here. So we move up one, two, three, four units and then we move over to the right one unit which is the positive direction. We went up positive four units and we went to the right positive 1 unit, 4 divided by 1 is positive 4, so our slope is positive 4. But just to make sure, let's go ahead and pick this point here and move to this point here. And so we're moving backwards. This says that I move back negative 1, and then I'm going to, go, going to move down 1, 2, 3, 4. So this rise over run, the rise was negative 4 because we went down and we went backwards in the left direction, negative 1. Negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4, and so our slope is still positive 4. We could also pick some of these points down here, moving from here to, let's say, this one clear down here. This moves backwards 1, 2 units, and then down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units. So we moved, uh, we rise down negative 8 units, but we ran backwards negative 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4, and you can see we still get the exact same slope no matter which two points we use. Now that we have slope and the y-intercept, we can put those into our equation. f of x equals m is the slope, which we found is 4, and then we have our x then plus the y-intercept, which is negative 2, and where it's plus negative 2, let's go ahead and change that so that it's not plus a negative. So we have f of x equals 4x minus 2, making it look a little bit more clean. And now we're all done. 